How Jesus Delivered Me From A Holiness Satanic Church End Time Alarm Be careful of satanic holiness churches and movements. The devil has transformed himself into an angel of light and his ministers into ministers of righteousness. All glory to God the Father. Thank you Lord Jesus for not allowing me to die in my ignorance, sins and go to hell. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul and maintaining my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. I thank God for bringing me in contact with Heaven's Mandate Worldwide Ministry and His servant, Witness Ken Paul. After the Lord, by His great and abundant mercy, love, kindness, and patience, delivered me from backsliding and restored my salvation, I decided to look for a church where holiness and righteousness is preached and practiced. A church where women don't dress seductively or expose their bodies. A church where demon-inspired music is not sung. A church where women don't put on attachments, women don't wear trousers, no painting and no jewelry. A church where heaven is preached and is the focus. Also, in such a church, I may find a good woman to marry. So I found one through the internet. This church is 99% white people. There were only three black people in that church when I came. If you see the dressing of the women in that church, you will think you are in heaven already. The women wear long skirts, long sleeve dresses, long gowns, no high heels, no painting, no jewelry no attachment and they cover their chest properly. The men dress decently and neat. No tattoos, no long crazy hair like most Americans do. They are always in suit. In fact, this white church in America dresses and preach like the popular holiness churches in Nigeria. Although their women may not put on scarf always. There is praying and fasting every week. And the church is open outside their normal service times for you to come and pray. You know that it's not easy to find such church in America and Europe. My dear, do not rely on your understanding. Please be led only by the Holy Spirit at all times. Test every spirit before approval. You might have a good motive. You may pray the right prayer. But remember that the devil is also listening to your prayers. He would want to answer those good prayers you are praying to God. Be wise, for the devil has transformed himself to an angel of light and his ministers into ministers of righteousness. 2 Corinthians 11, 13 to 15. And he, the devil, has also sown tears among the weeds. Matthew 13. After I started going to that church, I kept on listening to the messages of Witness Ken Paul and reading the books my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has been writing through him. After reading the book titled, Stop Just Going to Church and Whose Church Is This? I decided to pray about the church I was attending and the other churches I have attended before. One day, someone appeared to me in my dream and told me that I should go with him to the church because he wants to show me things about the church I have been attending. So after arguing with him, I reluctantly followed him. I argued and was reluctant to follow him because in my mind, I felt I know the church because they dress holy, they preach about heaven and hell, rapture, and they preach that Jesus is God in human flesh. They preach that there is only one God. They practice baptism by immersion and all the sound doctrines. That person told me that we will go to that church in the middle of the night. So I told him that the church is not open by midnight because I knew that the church closes its services latest around 9 p.m. But he told me not to worry, that I should just go with him and that I will see. So I reluctantly followed him. When we got to the church, at that exact time he told me, the church double doors open on its own. And I was surprised 
But to my greater surprise and shock, I saw members of the church file out of the church stark naked and barefooted, both men and women, with no single covering. And I turned my face away because I did not want to see their nakedness. They marched to another building, a demonic church, in the same street. There I saw Satan seated, and there they worshipped Satan stark naked. And after worshipping Satan there, they filed out back to the first church and dressed up holy looking and righteous again, completely covered. And the person said to me, Do you now see? And I woke up. In the daytime, they dress holy and righteous and worship openly in the first church. Satan called, but in the middle of the night, they gather in the first church and from there move to a secret branch of the first church to worship Satan there stuck naked. And ignorant people like us who foolishly attend the church without first asking the Holy Spirit never knew what was happening. After this revelation, I stopped going to that church, in any church at all. Rather, I started worshipping in my house, using Ken Paul's books for my daily devotional studies and Ken Paul's messages for my church services. During worship at the church in my house, I sing the Holy Spirit-inspired songs God has been giving me. Father, forgive me of all my ignorance, sins, and wash me with your precious blood. Set me free from every pollution and entanglements in Jesus' mighty name. Use this to open the eyes of others and save them too in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I know that you didn't reveal this to me because of me alone, but to deliver many who are being deceived. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me from Satan's capture center and translating me to your rapture center. Thank you, merciful Father, for qualifying me to be a partaker of the inheritance among the saints in light and for delivering me from the powers of darkness and have conveyed me into the kingdom of the Son of your love, in whom I have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of my sins. Colossians chapter 1. Amen. Brother Isaiah, USA. Beloved, we are in the days of tears and weeds, according to Matthew 13. The devil has obviously finished infiltrating the worldly churches and is now working through false and fake holiness churches, preachers, and movements to deceive those who sincerely want to escape and make heaven. Jesus Christ came to save this brother from this terrible deception. But like many foolish ones, he was even arguing. See how this brother in America will have ended up in hellfire, thinking he was among holy brethren and on his way to heaven. Many are on their way to hellfire from so-called fake holiness preachers and teachers. Apart from the worldly churches who by their fruits you can quickly know them, except you are deceiving yourself. Test all spirits and prove all things in order to escape the massive amount of spiritual pollution and corruption everywhere now. The foolish virgins missed it because their intimacy with the Holy Spirit, who is the revealer and teacher, was no more flowing. Both marine witches, the occult and ordinary witches, with the rest of them, have taken over and are deceiving people in the name of Jesus and the Bible because the modern church has fallen away. Jesus warned against all these in Matthew 24 and in other scriptures. Never join any church, ministry, prayer group, both online and offline, without concrete confirmation from the Holy Spirit, or you will regret it at last. A voice came shouting, Pollution! Pollution! Warn them against spiritual pollution. Most things on the internet are from the kingdom of darkness. Satan too answers prayers. But what you will use to pay for that in time and eternity includes your soul. No individual church or particular person is being singled out through this message coming from God. Ours is to warn and let those who have ears to truly hear. Go back to the Holy Spirit. 
Anything you are not very sure he's leading you to do is nothing but witchcraft. Be careful with the falsehood all over the internet. All that glitters is not gold. May God Almighty deliver his people who are willing and obedient and expose all the satanic agents, including those who are unaware that they are being used by the wicked one. This exposure will definitely save people heading to destruction ignorantly and otherwise. It is getting darker, but we must shine the true Jesus brighter in true holiness and righteousness. The only hope of surviving this hour is total compact flow of intimacy with the Holy Spirit of Christ Jesus, not religion. They shall know the truth, and the truth shall make them free. This is from Heaven's Mandate Worldwide, sanitizing the church, the populating hell, and populating heaven, as we gather the Christ-like, true holiness, bright remnant for Christ in these perilous times before His imminent return. Be an instrument of deliverance as you share this all over the world for the love of Christ and save many. Witness Ken Paul Obieke.